Bishop Makamu met in 2003 at Ikhalengong and immediately he set his eyes on her. He knew she was the woman for him and he did not waste any time approaching her. In an interview with Drum, he narrated the events of their first meeting and referred to it as a memory that is evergreen in his heart. According to him, after dropping a friend, he saw her standing close to a traffic light and immediately stepped out of the car to approach her. Though he was nervous, he was so sure that she was his wife that he did not mind chasing her around and waiting for her at the taxi stop until he was able to speak to her properly. After one week of seeking her attention, he was now able to get it. Makam went on to add that his wife was the first woman he asked out and she was a 19-year-old nursing student at N. Laksit Nursing College at the time. He credits his getting married to his wife two years after meeting her to his perseverance and determination to win her while he was wooing her. Makamu seemed to have a happy family and a successful career in the ministry with his controversial Moja Love reality TV show and growing church until May 2021 when an audio recording of his conversation with a former member of his church went viral. In the audio, you can clearly hear his voice asking a female member of his church whether there was anybody around the premises that would see him if he comes. Then he goes on to ask her if she would give him and she responds with a blunt no. However, as the recording continues, he kept on persisting until she then gives in. Though sex was not directly mentioned in the recording, social media users concluded that it was implied. In response to the viral audio recording, Bishop Makamu claims that the conversation took place sometime in 2017 with a former church member but was not in any way sexual. According to him, he cannot do something that would bring embarrassment to his wife or tarnish his image. He also claimed that the conversation had been edited in a bid to exhort money from him. Like that wasn't enough. The lady in question went on to sue him for sexual assault. She also claimed that he tried to pay damages by offering her father one million rand through his wife so as to keep what happened a secret. As much as the revelation was devastating, the fact that she waited four years before coming out also got people talking. In her defense, she claimed she decided to come out because she did not want him to do the same thing to another person. In the end, the case was settled out of court. The entire scandal got a lot of social media users anticipating the news of Makamu's divorce, but to their greatest surprise, the reverse was the case. During one of their Sunday services on May 16, 2021, Bishop Israel preached a controversial message on forgiveness. Then, in the course of the sermon, he begins to tell his wife that he knows he does not deserve to be her husband. But with humility, he is asking her, and the first place in her heart, to forgive him. Just as he concludes his statement, his wife, who was already crying, walked up to him and hugged him. While this entire display may seem romantic and beautiful, not everyone fell for the act, with many saying, Fanny Pile did not really forgive him from her heart and that she only had to act along. Some social media users who felt so offended about Flonipile's action even went, even went on to call her a clown. Others, especially ladies, who say they can never take such embarrassment from a man. Some others, mostly guys, did not see any things from the perspective of the women and rather they praised Flonipile for being a forgiving wife and standing with the men. Irrespective of what social media users and the entire public at large may have had to say, what really matters is that she forgave her husband and has decided to stay in her marriage. Hopefully, it is not a decision she was pressured into making or one that she would regret.